सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दंड्रेड डेज सिस्टम वेरी लॉक चैलेंज आई एम योर होस्ट टिट्टू के पटेल एंड टूडे वी विल एक्सप्लोर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सिस्टम वेरी लॉक डेटा टाइप एंड दीज आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ एनी डिजाइन और टेस्ट वेंचर्स इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉक सो बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेट टाइप एंड अ वेरिएबल टाइप अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू विल ऑल्सो गोट टू नो अबाउट द टू स्टेट एंड फोर स्टेट डेटा टाइप also we will see like some data types struct and unions also we will see enums and their method and finally we will proceed with the powerful string data types so let's dive in now introduction to data types so see like a system verilog is an extension of verilog so it's add some more powerful and expressive data type like why do we need better data type so see well traditional verilog had limited support in test benches or complex design you need some better control over simulation and synthesis and along with that you need some the ability to model real world scenarios and also strong typing to reduce errors so for all that system verilog give you just that it offers rich test bench modeling along with that better abstraction and along with that strong type checking which makes your code safer and easier to debug now let's see the net type so see net type in digital design net type are used to connect hardware element think of them like a physical wire so the key points you have to take care about the they cannot store value so to store value you have to use a reg type data type and they carry value from a driver to a receiver and they are assigned using the assign keyword like in verilog also we have seen that we are using net type only for the continuous assignment whereas we are using reg data type for the procedural assignment so you have to keep this in mind so by using net type data carries the value driven by the assign it doesn't hold that value internally okay now let's see the variable types so your variable types is two state data types and four state data type now let's see the two state data types so see your two state data type so see this variable can store value and they can only have two possible state that is 0 and 1 so they are ideal for modeling synthesizable logic where you don't care about the x and z condition okay so see where you can use this so whenever you need to configure some clock where you don't uh, much take care about the x and z condition so you have to use two state data type so it's just increase your speed you can use two state data type there also okay now let's see the various two state data type so first one is bit so bit is Consider this two-state data type, and its default value is zero, and the size of bit is only one bit. So the vector is allowed. Byte consists of eight bit, and it's also a two-state signed way integer. And the default value is eight here, and it has fixed eight bit size. See, whenever you got some two-state data type, na, so its default value is zero. Okay, so keep this in mind. Now short int contains sixteen bit, whereas your int contains thirty-two bit, and your long int contains sixty-four bit. so keep this in mind this is very useful okay now let's see our four state data type so you can use four state data type now so see you are using two state data type these are faster in simulation since there is no need to track some unknown or high impedance state so it is faster in simulation now let's look at four state data type which are more powerful they support 0 1 x and z so 0 stand for logic low 1 stand for logic high and x stand for unknown and z stand for high impedance so why is this important so in real hardware you may have some uninitialized signal conflicting driver shared bus and floating input and for that four state data type help us to simulate each behavior so common four state data types are logic which is most recommended whereas logic which is most recommended see in verilog we are using reg and wire but uh, your logic is eliminating both this by using logic you can either by using logic you can able to achieve the behavior of reg as well as the wire reg legacy from very long and wire prior and wire and wire are a net data types okay so reg is the legacy from very long only and your wire prior wire end and wire or are the part of net data type so keep this in mind so this tells your so this tells you the variable is not initialized which help in debugging okay so see whenever you are passing x or some unknown condition so this tells you 
the variable is not initialized, which help in debugging. Now system Verilog also support struct, just like in C. Okay, so struct group related variable into one object. There are two kinds of structure. One is unpacked structure like normal variable, and the another is packed structure stored as a big vector. So here you can see like a default structure type is unpacked structure. So here member are not packed in memory, and you can keep this in mind. Like in structure, each variable got some separate memory as you are using in C. Okay, so your each variable are getting some separated memory. And packed structure, so it's a bit level packed layout, and also it can be used as a vector or slides. So we will also see its application of structure in next video. Okay, now union. So see, in unions, all members shares the same memory. What I mean, like in structure, we have seen your all members share different memory, whereas your whereas in union. Your all members share the same memory, and only one member activate a time. So keep this in mind, okay? And these are the snippet of union. So here in union or end structure, we are accumulating multiple data types in in a single data type, okay? Now you can say that we are grouping something, okay? Now enumeration. So enumeration, what is enum? Enum. So enum let you define name constant. Great for finite state machines and all other condition. So here you can see that we have considered one enum which is of two bit. That is two bit. So this is more readable than using just numbers. Okay. So in enum there are some inbuilt method like first, last, next, previous, ne, num, and name. So here you can see that we have considered one example where we have considered some fruit names. So here we have considered fruit. Okay. Now here we our value of fruit is banana. So your banana is assigned inside the fruit by using first method. We are accessing the first member. So that is apple. So from the enum we are accessing the first member and the answer is apple. And in second one we are accessing the last member and that is orange. So we are getting orange. And after that. From fruit, we are getting some previous member. So here, see after banana, so previous member of banana is apple. Okay, so the answer is apple. And next, so, so we will see the next member after banana. Okay, so that is mango. So our answer is mango. Now first num is returning how many members are there inside the enum. So there are four member inside the enum. So the answer is four. And now fruit dot name. So here we are accessing the name of the fruit, and that is banana. So here it is printing banana. So that how. You can understand the enums. So enum help write clean and self documenting code. Okay. Now system Verilog also support the string data type. Unlike Verilog, it is a dynamically sized object, not just an array of character. Keep this in mind. Now system Verilog introduced the string data type, which is dynamically sized and grow or shrink during runtime. As I already told you, like it's a it is dynamic in nature. So these are the some inbuilt method. Which associated with the string. So length. So your length will return the length of the string. Now put character will replace character at index with some character. Now get character. So we are returning some character from that index. Now two upper will convert your all letters into the smaller upper case. Now two lower will convert your all character into the lower case. And here compare string will comparing the Two string. If it is same, so it will return zero, and if it is different, so it will return either less than zero and either greater than zero. Okay. Now I compare. So it is comparing some case sensitive compare. Okay. Now sub string. So it will return some sub string from start to end. A to I will convert your string into integer, and I to I will convert your integer into the string. Okay. Now this is all. So see. This data type are the foundation of system Verilog programming. So let's quickly recap what we have learned today. So net data type, which is used to connect modules, we have also learned two state variable data types, which is able to store only zero and one, and it is good for synthesis. We have also seen four state data type, which support X and Z used in simulation. We have also seen struct, which is used to group related data, and we have also seen union, which share same memory, different interpretation. We have also seen enums, which is a clean way to define states or constants. We have also seen some strings, which is flexible, dynamic, and powerful for TVs. So see, these data type are the foundation of system Verilog programming, both for RTL and test bench development. So see, that's all for day two of our system Verilog challenge. If you learned something new today, 
सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड टूमोरो वी विल गो इवन डीपर सो स्टेट यून कीप एक्सप्लोरिंग कीप इंप्रूविंग थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड अटेंशन सो दिस इज किट्टू पटेल साइनिंग ऑफ सी यू इन डे थ्री